Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're going to be discussing a few updates with respect to immigration and visa news here in the kingdom. Uh, one of the first things to take note of is something, it's kind of a theme we've been discussing on this channel for some years now. Uh, it's basically the so-called policy of good guys in, bad guys out, which is a policy and uh, it's, it's a set of infor immigration enforcement practices that have been undertaken in Thailand in about the past, uh, since about 2014, 2015. Um, one of the major aspects of this is that just general crackdowns, uh, sweeps for those who are on overstay are far more frequent. Uh, there was a significant uh, number of deportations in the recent past, but a recent development that came to my attention sort of anecdotally through a friend of mine who was traveling domestically here in the kingdom is he said that apparently now there are certain officers that are even checking the visa status um, of individuals, foreign nationals traveling domestically. So inside of Thailand, they're actually checking the visa stamps uh, on those individuals' passports uh, in certain circumstances where they're traveling domestically. Uh, this would actually be a rather sub a substantial um, overall change in uh, enforcement policy uh, because generally speaking, one doesn't really interact very much with the immigration officers unless one's at a port of entry when entering or exiting from the kingdom. Uh, but that being said, it appears that this, is, this practice is, um, I won't say widely occurring right now, but I have had multiple people uh, tell me that they've seen it uh, in recent weeks, that they have seen immigration officers checking um, uh, foreigners' passports on domestic uh, flights. Uh, so this that can be really problematic. There's another channel on this on the or there's another video on this channel with respect to blacklisting immigration blacklisting uh, for those who are caught in country with an overstay or in overstay status, and this can be a real situation. It can it can lead again it can lead to blacklisting. I believe if one is caught in country and overstay, it can lead to a five year blacklisting. So um, in the past, uh, it actually in my in my experience, it was at one time possible to travel domestically as a foreigner in Thailand simply using one's Thai driver's license to get on the plane. Um, I don't think that this is so much in practice anymore. Uh, I think passports are generally sort of the, the go-to document with respect to even domestic travel within the kingdom. But that being said, um, it is rather interesting that, that uh, anecdotally, I have heard that multiple people have noticed that there are immigration officers checking passports in a domestic capacity at airports. So that's something of note. It's, it's something of serious note. And again, as other videos on this channel can uh, convey, there, are, there have been multiple crackdowns searching for those who are on overstay or in work permit violations. And as I've noted in those videos, um, I don't see that that's going to change anytime soon. If anything, I think actually enforcement measures are probably going to become more stringent over time. So. That's basically our take on what's going on with respect to our major issues going on with respect to immigration right at this minute. Um, another thing to keep in mind is it came to my attention that the Penang consulate, the Thai consulate in Penang is closed. Uh, they put up an announcement on their website that they're closed uh, from the beginning of April until further notice. Um, it doesn't seem to be an indefinite thing. They apparently are changing their office location. Um, so they're using, they're taking the opportunity of the Thai holidays to go ahead and do that. Uh, so that might be of interest to some folks who are watching this video. But that being said, those are the major things that have come up in the recent weeks uh, with respect to Thai visas and immigration. Um, stay tuned to this channel. We'll try to put up some more information as things progress.